So this, uh, I have basic cards in, in my collection too. Um, so this is like um, Charizard's trainer, which is why I have some rare cards because like a lot of the, some basic cards are just pretty like uh, hard to get or to collect or to have. So there's that. So this is the 20, um, 20 or the 2019 versions of new Pokemons you would be buying. Um, but as you can see, it has the old school um, Pokemon that are worth a lot of money. So those are like the new versions. Um, basically, people are collecting the, these, but the original ones that are worth, you know, all the money. Um, more cards. I have just basic new versions of the old basic uh, original Pokemon cards. Um, then I have like some hollows. Uh, let me get into some more. These are called V's. So it's just like a, a, a hollow card that's uh, harder harder to accompany in packs. Um, I'll show you some more just to kind of um, give you some knowledge on me, on cards. Um, this is like a basic card, but it's just like you don't really uh, get these in every pack. It's the Poke Kid. So those are like kind of cards I'll collect too, because just like to have those, just to have better collection. Um, and then like, so these, I explained these, these are like the rainbow hollows, but um, they're rare. So it's like a rare GX, but it's not a rare card. It just came like that. Um, and I got these also at, these, at the dollar store. And uh, you could tell the difference. They don't have all the shine in it. Um, this is, uh, I got this one, I believe in a, it might have been a, oh yeah, this is like the older version packs. These are like the last, very last packs I bought. So I got one of those. Um, you can see it had, it, they started to kind of make them realer again, but they were still like not quite there. They were like not, uh, didn't have that actual you know, like that, that, that glow right there compared to like what they were trying to do or trying to get, get to in the packs. Um, also this was one too. This was, this was also one, but you could see the difference. Like this is a lot of rainbow colors into it. Um, I believe this was one, this might've been one. Yeah, this is one. No. Yeah. This was a newer, newer one, a newer version. So there was like old in those uh, packs that were they're almost faking out, but before they did, um, there was like cards that were kind of um, 2016 through 18 through 19, but nothing 2020 because they probably uh, didn't really plan on uh, you know buying all those fakes and putting them out there for people. Being I was the only one buying them. This is a full picture. Uh, it's called a full color um, art, full color picture art. So you have the whole card is just done. It's they don't have you know your your line barriers, your borders. It's just one whole card. Um, what else get to show? This is a. It's called a a rare rainbow. Um, uh, what I want to say. Um, could it's like a rare rainbow hollow so it has everything combined in one one card one picture all like in one um so let's see what else i could show um these are just like trainers that you would get in some packs um as like a good hologram card so there's like full hollows full hollow colors well, they're more reflective, like such as these. Um, no difference from um, the basic um, full holograms. Just different cards. They just put more uh, reflective into it. So this was also one of those uh, dollar packs with Mr. Mime. It's like uh, the colors are just way ballistic on these, like so like authentic, but not just like 
the reflections and are, are not hitting. Also with these two, these were like rainbow hollow rares um, with full art. You can see this one is a full art. So like they were getting kind of crazy with their cards. Those fake cards that they were almost producing. Um, I don't really know. I think it was just for their profit. But as I went back the last time to go see what they had in and how the fake packs would look, they did not have any. They were like all gone. So they hadn't pr pretty much set up for those. And I plan not to go back and try to buy those. So here's two more. You can see this is a, called like a rainbow. It's the fake. These are like where the kind of similar, uh, like how do you say duplicated to be almost mean fake. So this was like, um, this card is this card, but this card is like this card. But you can see it's like print, but it's called a full art with no um, hollow and it's a rainbow. And then like this would be like a rare because it has a rainbow. So those cards are pretty rare to get. Like I'm glad I, I bought those packs before they, you know, went and bootlegged like my cards that were that are you know I could have could have really had. And, like here's another one. You can see it's just so um vivid, like the colors are vivid. Mm -hmm. And they're like pretty sharp, like um, colors. So that's basically it, my collection. I mean, I just started, so I'm not. I don't really have nothing like crazy besides all the rarest ones I have that are like crazy, like pretty crazy. Um, not much more to explain about Pokemon cards. Another thing I would recommend is like the only profit you're really gonna make a lot is if you buy original cards, which are like in the thousands of dollars which everybody's doing to like make profits um but i don't have that type of money to be throwing on these cards um so i just started with the new versions maybe these will go up in value in like a year or so but until then i know and another thing is i don't even know if like legit checking on these uh card shops will be like yeah these are not real these are not real these you know so it's just a collection. It's just like a something I just make fun like out of and make um make it happen, you know. Like I collect sneakers, so this is kinda similar to that. Uh, I'm not just hating on the the vibe of the, you know, collector collection or the collector's hype. Uh, it is what it is. And you can't compare uh, different hobbies to sorts of um different types of collections but that's just what it is for now and yeah uh this is just a video to explain i guess about pokemon uh, i think it's it's kind of cool like it, i mean i'm older so like to a kid it's probably like wow this fucking guy's like damn he's just like too fucking advanced but you know, I'm older, so if a kid was in vice versa, it'd kind of be different. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, and uh, just end this video with uh, don't waste your time unless you kind of really know like what you're gonna um, get out of it. Because I spent a lot of money already on these cards. And uh, I figured I'd just collect them and save them until I get older. Um, and that's basically it, man. Uh, can't explain too much more about these. But yeah.